happy Monday. I hope you didn't watch too much basketball or drink too much green beer this weekend. Um, we're going to walk to the store. I'm trying to give a small break to the feet. They actually got a couple hot spots yesterday. So, let's go for a walk. All right, we've gone point one, oh, one mile. We are well on the way to Marathon Speeds. I'd like to cover some very important information. Peyton Manning is coming to the Broncos. Peyton Manning is coming to the Broncos. Out with Tebow, in with Manning. I'm a Tebow fan, but I'll take Manning any day. You know I'm a Bronco fan. I mean, I wear a Bronco hat, like, almost every day. But, um, Manning, Broncos, this should be a very interesting season. Let's hope he's healed. Yeah, I'm glad I'm taking it slow. The feet are sore today. I know 10 or 11 miles is not very much, actually, but if you're breaking your feet back into minimalist footwear, you gotta take it slow. Finish my store walk. It's 0.93 miles, which is about what I thought. Dumb and dumber are on the loose. What are you whining about? Oh, you slipped. So tonight we're doing some deer. I call it osobuco, but and I spelled wrong. Um, not technically osobuco, but we take the shanks from venison and we cook them kind of like you would osobuco, which is usually lamb shanks cooked down slow. So let me get all this together and I'll show you what we're doing. Making a little herb bundle here with some rosemary, thyme, a bay leaf, and two cloves. Cloves are potent. Do not put very many in. So I've chopped up some celery, some carrots. I've made a little herb uh, bundle. Was, I chopped up some onion and left a couple cl cloves of garlic whole. Um, I can flavor a dish with these things, but I can't eat them, so I keep them big so I can pick around them. Um, now we have our deer shanks. These are from a doe. Let's get some light. Now technically osobuco is translated to, I think, hole in the bone, and because we don't have the bone on these shanks, sort of defeats the purpose. So if you have a bone saw, you can um, cut the front leg shanks with that. Um, we've always had a hard time figuring out what to do with these. Um, you can see they're very, lots of tendons and um, sinew and things in here. And so most of the time this ended up being dog food because it was too hard to cut up and grind because you have to get rid of all of this stuff before you can grind it. And we didn't know how to cook it. Well, you cook it low and slow for about three to four hours with a little bit of tomato sauce, these vegetables and some stock and all of this just melts. It is so good. So what I'm, I'm trying to talk here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is um, clean them up just a little bit more, get rid of some of this uh, extra stuff here, uh, tie them up with twine, brown them, then soften all the veggies in the pan. I got a Dutch oven and added my stock and my tomato sauce cover and look and cook Again, low and slow for several hours. You guys are tearing up the house. <sighs> okay, so I trussed them up with some twine so they stay together. Seasoned them with salt and pepper. The traditional recipe would probably call for flour and then browning them, but we're just going to put salt and pepper. So let's brown these suckers. Deglaze the pan with some chicken stock or beef stock. Make sure to scrape the bottom so you get all that stuff. Add your meat back in. 
herbs, some additional chicken stock. I'm only going to go to about halfway up. And then I'm going to add in about mm, seven or eight ounces of tomato sauce. You can also do some tomato paste. Bring it up to a low boil and then reduce the heat so it's just barely simmering and cook for, I don't know, probably going to cook this for at least three to four hours. It'll stay really tough and then suddenly it'll start to fall apart. So essentially you just cook it until it falls apart. This is the horrible things I have to deal with every day. Just horrible. Cat pile.